add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. Just a minute. I'm out of Blackberry Spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I don't have any now. What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it. You're lying. It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies. <laughs> There, isn't it? Oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit, I need my emergency kit. No, I need my emergency kit. No, I need my emergency kit. This better work on Spud. Oh no. broke my brain. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat. Isn't it? I'm hallucinating and it's a rat and it's going to bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spud out of here. You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? Oh, and of course, there's the blower. I hope Gwen's all right. Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spud couldn't have shown up at a worse time. Fuck in a bucket. I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you... Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, how stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a botherer. I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mum. Cheery bye. Sleep. He won't bother you anymore. Oh, 
You've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. That feels odd. <laughs> Gwen's running out of nappies. I better make some more. Where did I put that cloth and tape? Try not to poop again until I get a new nappy on you, okay? Oh, you can't be serious. Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighborhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of um, cooking, no? I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. As soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. No, they can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck the bucket. No, I better go calm her down. I can't think when she's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, Baby is gonna starve to death. Is mummy the worst mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait. Lionel, my. I have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. Listen, darling. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till Mummy comes back. Okay? Please? Mummy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. Please have tin milk, Lionel. Please. Morning! Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mock girl like yourself. Everything I've got's as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh... The, 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 the trade from over the bridge, well... All we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war and... They're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? 
Not unless you're willing to go over to the Garden District. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there. There's rumors of cannibals, devil worshippers, cue jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on Eel Pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Uncle Jack Records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district drag. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. It gets so resentful. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys.
could have taken them. But they didn't have to, did they? How many holes did it Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. <laughs> oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You oh, can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programmes out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Uh, Uncle Jack's coming. coming. Uncle Jack's coming. That's the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Uncle Jack's coming. Lionel can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Then I wouldn't have to run back home as often to feed Gwen. Sounds a bit hard-hearted, doesn't it, Gwen? But Mummy's trying to save our lives. fog come from? That's the answer to everything.
Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. My goodness, what happened? To your outfit. Is this the post box I dared Arthur to blow up? I really should never have posted that letter. Lovely day for it. Sally Boyle! I hope you find the Uncle Jack record. Me boy has been pestering me. I have indeed. Your Brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed to state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit.
Gwen's got something to eat at least. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. <coughs> Who's at the bloody door now? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mom, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Cashier is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ah, uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch.
your joy immediately. Jesus, it smells like burning chemicals. Oh shit! Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ Almighty! Jesus, no! Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode on the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there.
well. Young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew? You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station. For a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? Oil, oil. And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. me for the posh girls in year seven. You're never gonna get married if you treat men like that.
Gwen. Don't be afraid of the dark. Just bring a torch. Brilliant. Now I won't need to cross all those bridges. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. Shall we wonder today? These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. So on and so on. Mr. Farrell, I can assure you that no such thing exists as a toy spire. You might as well believe in the tooth fairy or sand Those people who tell you that we lost the war. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Long before any such joy spiral catches hold of you, you'll probably pass out and when you wake up. Memory will be restored. Yes, <laughs> it's true that you might be a bit confused about where things are, but any moment. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. How can I help you? That's a proper system. Got anything yummy in you?
did you tear your clothes like that? That's them! Their hands are all bloody! Well, that's enough for being here. Well, that was tedious. I could use a bit of money, and I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. On. Those peepers weren't there before. Why are they trying to keep people out? They're a Jack and Jill when you need them.
gonna do you for today? Let's spend my money, shall we? Wise man, wise man. A word to the efficient is sufficient. No. What I mean. Talk about the wonderful world of edible weeds. You might think these Fly me to the moon, would you? Feet are killing me. Beaker, a thermostat, N7 triad. I think I can fix my lab. Thank <laughs> you. 
think I'll skip the scene again this time. I'm so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. I can recommend an excellent tailor, ma'am, if... You'd like to get your clothes... Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. 